pitcher in is Max Bain, 6'6", right-hander out of Clarkston, Michigan at Northwood University. The count already 1-0 to Lavorsi as he replaces Caden Helsel. One run home for the Jackrabbits here in the eighth. An RBI single by the man at second base, Chase Ackerton, but Kokomo back in front, 4-3. First pitch, a fastball from the tall right-hander. It's a strike to Lavorsi to make the count even at 1-1. One one. Bain on the year, 0-1-1. His sixth appearance in relief. Those are all six of his times on the mound this year, a 1.04 ERA. Has allowed just two runs, has struck out 13 and walked six. Of he swings through the second one, one and two, and a little bit of an off-speed pitch there. Kalamazoo as a squad has struck out 152 batters coming into the day. They've walked just 80. They've added six strikeouts to the total, added two walks to the total as well. They're one of the top strikeout units. They have to be at 100, and almost 160 in Northwoods League this year. Righty versus lefty as Lavorsi chokes up down one, two. Fastball away, good eye by Lavorsi, two and two. Kokomo does hold on to win this thing. The Jackrabbits would be the furthest above 500 that they have been all year, three games above 500. They've gotten to two a couple of times. They haven't been able to push you any further. A wide stance by Bain as he bends at the waist, gets the sign. Hacker dancing off of second, 2-2 curveball, drops it in there beautifully on the outside part of the plate for strike three, freezing Lavorsi. But a big 12-6 curveball by the 6-6 right-hander gives Kokomo their first out here in the eighth. That is the hardest breaking ball that I have seen all season. I mean, that you say 12-6, that was 12-6. Literally dropped straight down. That one started at the chest and ended right at the knees of Ben Lavorsi. And out for Vinny Costello. Hacker stands at second. Kokomo leading by one, 4-3, thanks to the Hacker RBI single. Fastball up and in to another big man, Costello. 6-5, the batter against the 6-6 pitcher, Bain. Ball one. Vinny 0 for 3 today, reached on a fielder's choice in the fourth, hit into a fielder's choice to end the sixth, and struck out in the second. Wind blowing out to right field. Costello swings through the second one. A fastball makes it 1-2. and two. Or 1-1, one one, excuse me. Bain's got a serious fastball, too. I mean, that one had zip on it. Costello was well behind. Just six hits allowed by Bain in his previous five appearances. Got a strikeout of the first man he faced here in the eighth. 1-1 one, one Costello. Fouls it off the catcher. Blakely count goes to 1-2. and two. And What that does is it forces the hitter to basically think all fastball. And then if you get ahead in the count, then you can throw that 12-6 curveball and freeze the batter exactly like Bain did to Lavorsi. Joey Haas continues to get loose for Kokomo in the bullpen. Jackrabbits back in front, 4-3. to three. Hacker stands a second after pushing a home, home the go-ahead run. Curveball and Costello way in front of it. So the fastball works great for Bain. The curveball just as strong. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Bain out of the bullpen. He'll try to keep the damage to just one here in the eighth. File trying to change that. File's out of a pretty good day, huh, Rick? Not bad. It's okay. Decent. Two runs. <laughs> First home run for Kokomo at home this season. Third home run of the year as a team. See how aggressive Bain wants to be here with the home run hitter file at the plate. Goes curveball the first one, comes down at the belt for a call strike with Talon taking the whole way. He singled and scored in the third, homer to lead the inning off in the seventh. And each team today in the four and in the Seven times they've scored today. The leadoff man has gotten on each time, and he's come around to score. The leadoff man has not gotten on any other time today. The one strike pitch, fastball, and file misses upstairs, 0 2. So we always knew that getting the leadoff man was important, but it's doubly, triply, quadruply important today. Well, we'll find out what Kalamazoo can do in the top of the ninth. File would like to stend, extend our time here at the bottom of the eighth. Down to Bain 0-2 with Hacker at second base. Two outs in the 0-2. Curveball, good eye from File upstairs, ball one. And you can tell File read the spin on that one the entire way and saw that it was high and would stay high. Good eye from number 13. 
Devin Albrecht on deck. He's called over by Denzel Clark, and Denzel trying to give him a scouting report, I think, on Bain. If Fowl can reach base safely, we'll see Albrecht next. One, two, and we won't. As a swing and a miss on the inside. A walk and a single pushes Kokomo ahead. Bain comes in and strikes out the next three many faces. And Kokomo heads to the ninth, back in front, four to three. Coming in for Kalamazoo to bat will be Kramer, Owens, and Katowski. And Joey Haas will come onto the hill for Kokomo trying to get the save. This one should freaking work. I don't use this all the time, so I don't always 